Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter number 4 of EDC's book by Mr. Ballstead. And here we'll be solving example or uh, discussing example 4.7. And this is on the request of a student. Okay, so the question has four parts. Uh, draw a load line for the network. So um, uh, we have to draw a load line here. Then for a Q point at the intersection, we have to find ICQ, VCQ. We'll discuss each of them uh, one by one. I'm just giving a overview. Determine the DC beta at the Q point. And using beta, we have to find the value of resistance RB. This is resistance RB. Now, this is the circuit. Uh, and now, in this book, uh, he has followed uh, a slightly different technique of writing KVL, which I'm not very comfortable with. And let me explain what it is. Let's say this is the circuit. So he's, he's taking this as a positive, so VCC. And then he's writing the voltage drop here, minus ICRC equal to zero. But the way we have read in the circuit, and I have a complete video on how to write KVL, uh, what I have done is I have replaced this with a battery, and I move from the negative terminal or from the ground uh, clockwise. So negative VCC, plus wherever the current touches, that point becomes positive. So positive ICRC equal to zero. Now to get this, I have modified this circuit slightly. And basically just I have added the two battery source. And also I have marked the polar current directions here, current IB, current IE. This point is VCE and this point is VBE. So with this now, uh, there will be two equations. One is this uh, loop and other is the uh, right hand loop. So the left hand loop is used to find IB or RB and this is called base emitter loop. So let's see how the equation comes. KVL equation from here minus VCC plus IBRB plus VBE plus IERE equals zero. And from here, we want to replace IE with IB, just to make it simple. We know that IC is equal to beta IB. Similarly, IE is beta plus one IB. So we replace IE, and then taking common IB and solving, we get a final uh, nice looking equation for IB current. So we'll be using this one. Then to find uh, the IC current, IC or VCE, we use the right loop, which is called the collector emitter loop. And if you start from here, minus VCC, ICRC, VCE, and IERE. Here also we will have to replace IE uh, to make it more simpler, and IE is approximately equal to IC. So replacing this and then rearranging, we get this equation. So this is our uh, second equation that we'll be using. Now let's come to the question, draw a load line for the network of figure on the characteristics for the transistor. So this is the characteristics curve given in the book. And the load line on that is something like this, a point intersecting at the IC line and a point intersecting at the VCE line. So two points on the characteristics are required to draw the load line. So how do we proceed? This point is when VCE is zero. So VCE is zero, what is the value of IC that we have to find? And the second point is when IC is zero. So IC is zero, what is the value of VCE? So let's start from the, because this equation has both IC and VCE, the right loop, so we'll use that equation. And putting VCE is equal to zero in this, we get this relation that IC is VCC divided by ICRC. 
and now we can put the values 18 and 2.2 and 1.1 so IC is 5.45 milliampere that means this point is 4.45 milliampere now the second point is when IC is 0 so put IC is equal to 0 in this this term will become 0 so VCE is equal to VCC and VCC is 18 volt so this the second point will be at 18 volt so the final result will look like this 5.45 and 18 volt so this is our uh, load line so part one is done now let's go to part b for the q point at the intersection of the load line with the base current 15 microampere so this load line and 15 microampere intersection is the is called the q point or the quotient point or the operating point so let's put a dot here so this is our point and here we have to find ic q and vcq now q is just representing that we are operating at this point q point so basically we need to connect this or and this to find these two so when extending here ic or ICQ is 3.3 .3 milliampere and similarly VCEQ is 7.5 volt. So this is our answer for part B. And now part C determine the beta for Q. Now beta we know the equation beta is IC over IB or we have already learned that beta times IB is IC from here also we can get this relation. Now at this point the only thing we need to change is I C I with I C Q to get beta. So I C Q 3.3 and I B Q is 15 microampere. So beta is 20. Part C is done. And now part D using the beta of the network determined in part uh, in part C calculate the required value of R B and suggest a possible standard value. So RB is in the uh, left loop, so we have to use the left loop. This equation we have already derived. So from here, we'll plug in the values. Beta we have calculated 220, 18. VBE is always 0 0.74 volt if it is a silicon transistor. So 0 0.7 and putting the value of the uh, beta and the resistor RE. Simplifying or cross multiplying, we find Rb to be 909.9 .9 kilo ohm. Now this is not a standard value. The question is asking, uh, suggest a possible standard value. Now for standard value, you have to go to Google and type in standard value of the register. Now the standard value of the resistor nearest to this in kilo, I have found these three, 750, 8, kilo, and 9, 10 kilo. Now the closest to this is 9, 10 kilo, therefore we'll select that. And so we'll say that Rb is equal to 19, 9, 10 kilo ohm. So this is the standard value. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please share this with your friends so they can also get benefited and subscribe if you like. Give me your comments. Thank you.